This is the property that is built by Hill Country Builders. I just had a long conversation with the guy whose company it is. His name is Tim. And uh, he said that this is a property where he purchased the land and inherited the floor plan and then he made tweaks and changes to the design. Um, he is a custom builder. comes from California, so a lot of his styles are influenced by the styles that are happening in California right now. So, uh, here's the front door. All right, so as you walk in, you're in the entryway um, at the tray ceiling. To the left, there's an office type space. Nice big open windows. Everything is very clean and crisp lines. This could be used as a bedroom or an office, so it has a closet that's suitable for both. Double French doors. I'm gonna go ahead and continue into the family room area with the windows that look out onto the golf course here. Got this, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, octagonal, but not evenly sided octagonal ceiling with double inset. And here's the fireplace. Shiplap on the top, white painted brick. Um, he's very uh, willing to do different styles, whether it's this clean finish out or something that's more indicative of the San Antonio styles. <clears throat> he's very flexible with all that. So, he said that standard in his builds is that he likes to use the quartz countertops and he does the soft closed drawers. There we go. <laughs> and the soft closed cabinets. And the cabinets he likes to use have things like pull out drawers in them. And they are soft closed as well. Then we've got the tile backsplash that looks like it's marble. Um, a nice big Viking fridge in this property. Fridge and freezer. Ooh, that door is heavy. So it's like six feet tall. And then we have cabinets all the way up to the ceiling. Microwave is down here. And this is a stove. And the warming drawer in the ovens. Kind of cool features. Um, and then behind me we have the sink. Big flat island. And then we have the eating area of the kitchen that reaches out towards the golf course also. Now, um, let's see. Let me back up so you can see this perspective. Here's the kitchen table, and there's the eating part, I mean the cooking part of the kitchen, and then there's a hallway over here that we're gonna go down. So over here to the right we have the pantry, and then to the left we have um, kind of like a game room maybe. This could be another TV room. Nice big windows back here. And then there is a closet in here, so I guess technically it's probably considered a bedroom, but the closet doesn't look like a closed closet. It's kind of um, triangular shaped. So let me continue, continue down here. We have a Jack and Jill bath. To the left, we have a bedroom. So this bedroom, it's not huge, but it's, I mean, it's decent size. And the closet is not actually in the bedroom. It's actually in the bathroom space. So this is cool. Let me back up. Ouch. So you can see this is a giant circle mirror. It really makes things light and bright in here. And um, so then behind the door over here, we see the closet. And the flooring in here is like a marble tile. Same flooring in all portions of the bathroom and in this closet. So there's one sink over here with this big circular mirror. And then 
this is where the tub and shower is. This happens to be a combo with like a rain shower head and the tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. So the curtain is about 10 feet high, nine feet, something like that. Very tall. And here's the stool. And then here is the other bathroom portion with the same nice big mirror and countertop. All right, so I said it was a Jack and Jill and here's the other bedroom that it goes to. Big closets in here. I always like it when there's enough storage in the closets that you don't really need furniture, except for a bed in your bedroom. All right, so here's the bathroom we were just in. And the garage is in here. And I think that's where he's hiding, so I'm not gonna go scare him. He's a nice guy. He just ran outside because he didn't want to be on video. So we have a mudroom area right here, and then that is directly across from the laundry room. There's the tile. There's a uh, closet right here, and then he made this for front load washer and dryer with a folding counter over the top and cabinetry. Sink and more cabinetry and folding space. And then behind the door over here, we have refrigerator, freezer area for your separate storage. Okay, so continuing, we come back to the front door. So we just made a great big circle. I'm going to go back to the front door so I can give you the same perspective from the other direction. Oh, and here is the dining room that I just walked through. So from the front door, I'm looking at the living room. Dining room is to the right. With the big windows out front. Kitchen is over here. Back down this hallway, you have the laundry room, garage, one bedroom, and then the Jack and Jill bathroom connects to the hallway that you see past that plant on the counter. And that hallway goes to the other bedroom and a TV room, game room, something like that. So here's the living room again. And uh, remember from the front door, we walked into that office space. Now we're gonna go down this hallway right here. So we have a coat closet by the front door. And then we come to the, there's a full bathroom right here with the same um, tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling. There's hexagonal tile in the, little inset for your shampoo and stuff. And then the counter. Cabinetry is the same as the kitchen. Another nice big mirror. This one's rectangular. And then across over here we have the master bedroom. And the master bedroom has a door that goes out to the back patio. Inset ceiling. It's recessed lighting. And then this bathroom, I think is probably what you guys fell in love with because it's super open. We have a dual vanity with cabinetry and a little place to put your makeup chair and the light switch. Here we go. Oh, I found a fan too. Okay, so it's very bright in here. The lights are on the mirrors. And here's the tub and the shower with the gold accents and the tile that goes up to the ceiling and then linen closet or cabinet I mean over here towel rack there's the bedroom again the vanity again and this door over here leads to the water closet stool and then here's the closet windows in the closet and then this uh, shelving system. He said he found at Ikea, which is super awesome. Although he does custom shelving systems when he is doing custom builds. Since this was for a spec home, he decided not to do the custom thing because he wasn't quite sure what people would want. But he is willing to do it. And there's just a couple of hooks over here. Attic access. 
So um, this property has two car garage plus a golf cart bay in the garage. And I'm sure that there's plenty of room in any sort of blueprints to expand that. And then here we have the back patio that in this house looks out onto the Fair Oaks golf course. And the patio goes all the way across. Uh, this opening over here leads into the kitchen. And then that lowered slab over there is outside of that game room, TV room. Fans up here. So, he has done a lot of building out in California and has different floor plans available from out in California from his previous builds or different um, pictures and ideas of what he's done out there. And here he was kind of trying to keep things simple so he could figure out what the style of the area is and he would really like to meet you guys when you come into town. So this is Hill Country Builders and this is the property on Fair Oaks Parkway.